Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Reckless Love Homestead. I was gonna do a different video today, but I felt really cool to do this one. I posted about this a while back on Facebook, but I've never made a video about it, so I thought I would do that now. So today I'm gonna talk to you about um, identity. Hey, shh. River, I'm not kidding. Yeah, be quiet for mommy, okay? <laughs> Willow, speaking of identity, I just confused my twins. Let's just start from the beginning, and that is that in middle and high school, um, you know, I wasn't like a terribly like troubled child or anything like that, but I always did feel like I didn't fit in um, very well, and I just kind of felt like misunderstood a little bit. I don't know. So then I take an agriculture class. For the first day of my first agriculture class, I knew that I wanted to be an ag teacher. So that was who I was at that point. I spent the entire rest of high school and college working towards being that person, not only just by getting my degree, but I mean, in high school, I worked for two different horse riding centers and a daycare. And um, everything that I was doing, I was thinking, well, this will help me learn so that I can be a good ag teacher. And then I got into college and I took an internship on a dairy farm with the Kentucky Cattlemen's Association at a greenhouse with a renewable energy biomass um, research company. And I learned so much and I poured so much into like becoming this agriculture teacher that I always wanted to be. And then I got out and um, I, be I became an agriculture teacher. And um, to make a long story short, you know, like now I'm home with um, all these kids and I've had to like deal with the fact that like, well, who am I now then? Because who I was before was an agriculture teacher. That's who I was. So I felt like I wasn't being enough because I didn't have a career. Like, you know, I'm staying home and obviously everyone knows that that's like important to take care of your kids, but it didn't feel important because I wasn't getting validated. I didn't have any sort of title. Um, I wasn't making any money and I didn't even know who I was anymore. I was just losing myself. But I'm really glad that I did because sometimes I think um, it takes losing who you thought you were to figure out who you really are. So I was at a Christian Moms group, and I'm so glad that I was because they had a guest speaker um, that came in and said, a lot of people, if you ask them who they are, they say, well, I'm a teacher, I'm a doctor, I'm a lawyer, I'm a, and I'm a student, and they just kind of give their occupation or what they're doing with their life. And she said, but that's not true. Um, that's not who you are. And I'm sure that the enemy would love us to think that is who we are. But she said, um, who you are is God's daughter. And at first when she said that, I was like, yeah, like, I'm a Christian, I'm a daughter of God, I've known that for a really long time, um, but that doesn't help me feel any better. But then she starts talking more about it, and she said, you know, um, all of you are here, you're in a mom's group, so you're all moms. And she said, how much do you all love your kid? We all just kind of, like, looked at each other, like, obviously we love our kids an unbelievable amount, just an indescribable amount is how much we love our kids. And she said, um, oh, so what do your kids do? And we're all young moms, so we have, like, babies and toddlers. And so when we started thinking, we're like, well, you know, they don't do anything. She said, yeah, they're not doctors, they're not lawyers, they don't have degrees, they uh, haven't done anything in the world to make you love them, you just love them because they're your children. And that was so true, like, my kids had done nothing. They didn't have to be anything, I just loved them unconditionally because they were mine. And she said, and is there anything that they could do to make you not love them? And I thought, no. Like, you know, at this point I've been pooped on and puked on and, you know, kids had colored on the walls and broken all kinds of things. And I didn't love them any less than I did the day they were born. And so, um, obviously there's nothing they can do to make me not love them. They are just so important to me. I can't explain how important they are to me. And to think that God loves me like that because I'm his daughter and that there's nothing that I had to do to earn that and there's nothing I can do to make that go away, no matter how much I mess up, is like the coolest feeling in the whole world. That the God of the universe, the God that created everything, the same God that knows the amount of stars in the sky and every grain of sand on the beach and he knows every hair on my head, and he knows every part of my life and he cares about every part of my life just like I care about every part of my kids' lives. And um, 
it just made me realize that that is who I am and that is so important. It made everything else seem sort of trivial. And everything else is not the title, it's the subtitle. So anyways, I just wanted to encourage you that if you're struggling with who you are and if what you're doing is important, that you're so important to the God of the universe and he loves you so much. And I hope that you're encouraged by this and I want you to know that I love you and I'm praying for you here at Reckless Love Homestead.